Thank you, State Rep. Keith Wheeler. Thank you for coming. And those are strong words, and we will hold you accountable. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, next up is a, next we have nurses. We have stories. Nurses who need to tell their stories. Her name is Laura Phillips. She's a nurse at John Stroger Hospital. And if you're as old as I am, you remember it as being the county, the county hospital. She's been a nurse for 18 years. And for the past 15, she's worked at uh, Stroger in the adult emergency room department and for the last two years and working towards her master's degree now. And her goal is to obviously achieve her APRN license and become an emergency nurse practitioner. Thank you, Laura, for coming today. Give it up for Laura Phillips. Hi, I want to thank you all for coming out and raising some awareness for uh, the violence that we see every day. Uh, as Janie said, or I'm sorry, as Doris said, I have been a nurse for 18 years more than 18 years. I've been in the emergency room setting for more than 15 years. I have worked uh, everywhere from Chicago hospitals to the surrounding suburbs in the emergency departments and have witnessed violence all the time, every day. Um, like all of you, I've witnessed it. I've been victimized by it. I've been punched. I've been spit at, kicked insulted, threatened, um, too many times. Uh, as Doris was saying, I am working towards my master's degree. And last semester, I was um, assigned a concept analysis paper to do. We had to choose a topic that was close to us, something that we dealt with every day. and. So I chose violence in the workplace towards healthcare providers because it was something that happens every day. Um, as early as this morning, I actually saw a Facebook post in response to comments to this uh, rally of someone who was not in the medical field who had actually said, healthcare violence? I've never heard of that. What is that? So. That makes it even more important why we need to speak up and make people aware that this is real. Um, during the organization of this rally, there was banter about there is no such thing, it's not true, but in actuality, it happens every day. Uh, during my research for this um, assignment, beginning of this year, I found um, that there wasn't a whole lot of literature in the US about workplace violence and healthcare. There was tons of literature worldwide in Egypt, in Iraq, in Australia, but nothing really in the US. The latest statistics from the US Department of, or the US Bureau of Justice was released <laughs> from in 2011 was the latest statistics and that covered the time period of 1993 to 2009 it's 2017 there haven't been any statistics released since then at that time the percentage of workplace violence reported between 2005 and 2009 in the fields of medical and mental health combined was 14.1%, coming in second to law enforcement agencies, which was 18.9%. That's a big deal. That's 4% people who carry guns every day and enforce our laws. We're second in line with violence. Um, the skeptics who say that it's not real, if you do the research, in June of 2010, the Joint Commission, who is our governing body in healthcare, published a sentinel event alert that addressed the issues in workplace violence in healthcare. Um, they identified the risks, the high risk areas, the causes, the potential perpetrators, 
and prevention strategies. As recent as February of this year, they added an addendum to this alert, which suggested actions and recommendations for healthcare settings in order to try to prevent some of this violence. So it is a very real thing. And unless we band together and stand united and make people aware that this is a very real thing, we're not gonna be heard. So we need the legislatures, we need everybody behind us, we need to show up at these rallies and really band together and show people that this truly is a everyday problem in our field. We take care of your mothers, your children, your sisters, your brothers, your friends. I became a nurse not because I wanted to be assaulted or insulted on a daily basis. I became a nurse because I wanted to take care of people. I wanted to save lives. I wanted to make a difference. I can't do that if I can't protect myself. So I really urge everybody that has been assaulted, that has been insulted, has been threatened to take those threats seriously. Because you never know when those threats are gonna become a reality and you're truly gonna become a victim. You need to report it. I did a very informal poll at my workplace when I was doing research for this paper. And I went around and I asked my colleagues, how often do you come across violence? How often are you assaulted? Whether it's verbally, physically, whatever. Every single nurse I talk to, every single tech I talk to, every single doctor, NP, PA, was like, what do you mean? That's every day. Like, it's just part of what we do. Like, no, it shouldn't be part of what we do. It shouldn't be an everyday, every hour reality, but it is. Um, so we really need to band together. We need to report it as minute as the threat may seem to us at the time. It needs to be reported. It needs to be brought to the attention of the public. It needs to be brought to the attention of our legislatures, of our law enforcement. We need to not meet resistance from our administrators and our law enforcement to report it and make it so it doesn't happen again.